They're the liberal rednecks. They like cornbread, but sex they care way too much, but don't give a fuck. They're the liberal rednecks that makes some people upset, but they got three big old dicks that you can suck. So here we are, uh, Trey, before you hopped on here, I was explaining to Drew how I'd got him this present a long time ago and I had lost mm-hmm. it. It's a mm-hmm. belt buckle of the 1982 World's Fair in Knoxville, which is it's just fucking fire. Like, honestly, I would have like it's something that I would have kept for myself. But like when I saw it, I was like, it would be unfair for me to get this and not give it to Drew because it look it just screams drew you know well, and we started it looks just like it yeah exactly and like we started talking about uh we started talking about like logos and commemorative brands and stuff and i was explaining how you know i've got now i've got the 2022 or excuse me the 2021 and 2022 official coca-cola georgia bulldogs national champions bottles sitting next to the 1981 that was my papaws that i've had and how cool that shit is and we were just talking about like nostalgia brands you know what i mean like and how uh, they like become like almost art because like red man marlboro stuff like those things like I, my dad had a red man belt buckle that i stole because i was like this is cool that he hadn't worn in years yeah like when you when you wear a budweiser t-shirt with that old school logo on it it's not usually a person going i support the brand so much it's just like this looks badass that miller you know highlight I mean? that girl on the moon dude oh yeah i've seen people with that tattoo and it's always a sweet tattoo what's your uh what's what's some uh some old logos and and brand art that hits for you i mean y'all know me uh not it's hard for me to think of something i mean like uh <laughs> it's hard for me to think of anything that hits you know how well, yeah well no it's just i don't care <laughs> I mean, about apart from the rebel flag rest in peace <laughs> yeah right <laughs> this yeah, I just don't really. I mean, you know, I'm not a big uh, fashion know, guy at all, or like an aesthetics guy. I'm wearing a, you know, I'll wear a Vol okay, shirt, but, which is what I got the, on right now. But I, I just don't really care about that kind of. Well, thing. like, well, no, do you really, really remember mad. though? But like, do you remember? Like, surely you had ants or me miles that Bro, I had. If you're talking about the Marlboro Miles shit, I, <laughs> like, there you go. I had a fucking like I, I my school backpack for most of middle school. <laughs> Was a Marlboro Miles backpack that is my it? mama cat got from from them, <laughs> and I took it. Uh, and and, and I also, stuff. it just don't hit for me. I also <laughs> had a uh, a Mountain Dew jacket that was got Ooh, with uh, Pepsi points well, or whatever. Far. I can't believe that didn't <laughs> come up immediately. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, I mean, I had that stuff, but like, it's fu- I hadn't thought about that stuff. We in were years, poor, though, Drew and y'all. Corey, uh, <laughs> when we had to wear that shit, and it wasn't cool back then. Yeah, so fuck y'all for, for looking for what we're we're appropriating <laughs> trades forced upon him culture. Yeah, no, I, I mean, mean it, I did it, look that it, you, dude, that stuff did hit for us. Like, can we I'm talk not, about how unselfish? <laughs> yeah, Mama earned that one diabetes say, foot at a time. Can we talk about how unselfish Mama Cat was to use some of her Marlboro points to get you a backpack? Because, like, everybody knows, like, just one step up is some pretty sweet fucking lawn chairs that she could have been sitting in. You know what Dude, I mean? Mama Cat had a in her body, baby. <laughs> Jake Head used to have a joke about being Florida trash, and I cannot remember yeah. how it went. Just the punchline being, like, like, are you the type of trash that this? Are you the type of trash that? And it's like. No, I'm the type of trash where dad used his Marlboro points at Christmas and (laughs) we were very grateful. (laughs) And then Pepsi points that you got the Mountain Dew jacket with, like, you Mm -hmm. know, at a time you could have saved those up for a jet. You remember when that guy did that? And then they, uh, we 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 talked about it on P, we talked about that on POA last week or the week before. Yeah. He, uh, that's yeah. putting on airs, by the way, our other podcast you should listen to. For anybody that doesn't listen to that and doesn't know what we're talking about, when they had the Pepsi points, they had a commercial that included like a, a fighter jet in it, the, it. And it was like, you know, a bit or a joke. But the commercial implies that you can get this jet with Pepsi points and this dude. But you know how he went about it, though, Drew? He didn't save he, up the amount of Pepsi them. points. He bought, he bought them, bought yeah. Them, paid for them because it was part of their the fine print of their competition. You could purchase... 15 Pepsi points for X dollars or something like that. And right. so he just bought 
a shitload of Pepsi points. He like took he out sent, a loan, right? I don't know if he took out a loan or not. I think he might have just been loaded, but he sent Pepsi a check for eight hundred thousand dollars and said, "I want to purchase X number of Pepsi points and exchange them for that F fifteen or whatever the fuck kind of jet it was." <laughs> Great and they deal. Wouldn't, they wouldn't do it. That's a fucking awesome deal. For yeah. those things cost Dude. millions of dollars. You can't yeah. even get one yeah. rocket. No, for that too. Son, for eight hundred thousand dollars, you can't afford not to buy a fighter jet. You know? <laughs> I died, like, dude. Uh, and he saw that clearly, and was like, "You're never going to get a better deal than this." And then Pepsi was like, "Well, we weren't serious about that." And he took their asses to court, but did not win, though. Which is bullshit. Yeah, frankly, because they didn't say in the commercial that they were joking. They, no. You know what I mean? Like, uh, clearly the reason he lost is because Pepsi has great fucking lawyers. I thought he won. Uh, like, I didn't look into it. I just, that's how I remember the story. Did you guys just look into that and definitely know he lost? Uh, yeah. I think, or yeah, did I it just go oh. away? Was it just like... It no, no, they ruled against him. I think they ruled that, like, uh, you know, no Only reasonable moron. person... Yeah, exactly. No reasonable person could have actually believed that they would give you a fighter jet or whatever. And that was I do like the cool. only a moron defense. Yeah. <laughs> Your Honor, look at this fucking idiot. <laughs> yes, you think he really know. believed he could get a jet or do you think he's scamming I mean, us, Pepsi, well, a mom and pop shop? It should be pointed out that this idiot had eight hundred thousand dollars <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah, like yeah. he's a crafty fucking idiot by the way during this conversation me and drew were having off mic we also got into like you know the fa- like I, I just mentioned the famous budweiser logo and i believe drew was positing that like you know drew says and i agree with this like when miller light like it was during true detective when they brought back that old can I started drinking Miller Lite, and I swear to God, it tastes better because I never liked Miller Lite. 100% but, tastes better, but, but I liked it because of that. And then he started yeah. talking about how Budweiser, like that can, it Budweiser is so much better than Bud Light. Like it's crazy. And that can is like a big deal of it. Like me and my buddies, and I think we might have talked about it. We always used to say like, why don't the Bud Light can be exactly the same as the Budweiser? It just blew. Like, have that same style just be blue. Like, how much more badass would that be? Well, and there's also a theory, too, that that's why Bud Light's so much more popular than Budweiser. People say it's because of Is calories. It? It's pretty good. We're going to get into, gonna get okay, into that. Right. But people say <laughs> it's because it has less, It's real gay. Because it has yeah. less calories, which is also gay. But, Super um, gay. <laughs> but in the 70s, no one cared about that. They didn't in know the what 80s, it meant. And when the Bud Light started coming out, I think that was late seventies, eighties. I could be wrong about that. It was because of the diet stuff, but like that was mostly at the time for women. It being blue is a big theory as to why it actually surpassed Budweiser in popularity. It's just like that red makes red makes people feel a little. I mean, dude, I, sometimes Tense. I think it's why Tennessee gets screwed over by refs. Trey, that bright orange just makes everybody mad. I mean, I don't disagree with that. You know, it certainly okay, upsets me. Red. Yeah, yeah, but red don't make people mad. It makes people scared. Yeah, exactly. The rest are like, I better not throw that fucking flag. Mm-hmm. This doodle. And pink me. makes everybody feel calm. Well, since well, we got, statistically speaking, uh, red cars get more tickets. I don't know. I, I was going to say, do. I'm, That's I'm, true. Still on, I'm still on flags. Uh, the Raiders have been flagged, you know, more than pretty much everybody, anybody ever. And a lot of people have posited that it's because of their uh, pops hate black people. The, the fact that they carry yeah. switchblades in their pads. Yeah. Well, that, that whole thing. It's like their, <laughs> their look and their mistake or whatever. It's like they're the bad guys or even yeah. though they suck. Like a, it, a bad guy that don't hit or that's like, you can't be a villain. It's like ta- y'all are like Taser time. Face from yeah, Guardians right, of the Galaxy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it's also it's but like still it's have to pay the price for it. It's yeah. also cartoonish. It's very Looney Tunes for the villain to lose, just comically bad every time. It's literally <laughs> yeah, like, right. oh, you're a cartoon Wally Coyote, villain. and yeah. their yeah. owner is a cartoon. So I mean, it's and all, a villain. It's a shit show. <laughs> is he a villain or is he just a uh, a, a stupid? Kind of nice man. Let, that, let me let me tell you something about everyone who owns a professional sports team. Yeah, right. They're the villain. Well, okay, he's, true. He inherited the sports team, though. And his dad and Al Davis never had any other kind of money. He didn't have oil money or nothing like that. He got in on the ground floor of the AFL and was a coach of the Raiders and then bought them for, like, a song, you know, like back <laughs> when you could get them for fucking nothing. 
and then was the owner as the the brand skyrocketed in value or whatever. And I'm like, Al Davis was, you know, I was going to say he was evil, but also he wasn't. He was like insanely progressive, like super fucking progressive. His whole yeah, for that career. time. Yeah. Like for any time, really. Like he had, yeah, right. like, he hired the he first had a female dog exec- be a coach once. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, Air Bud anyway, Light. And then did you just Mark say Air Davis, Bud Light? I did. Yeah. Mark Davis, they say, <laughs> like, drives a fucking 95 Astro van or something and eats it. He looks like a lady that would drive an Astro van. <laughs> yeah. Like he flies Southwest <laughs> and shit. Like, yeah. But he cuts but, his dude. own fucking hair. No, I didn't know no, any of no, this. No, no. Actually, I didn't know any of this, dude. This is serious? awesome. This is all yeah. true. He does not cut his own hair, although it looks like he does. This is so much worse. He drives like 150 miles to get his hair cut that way, that <laughs> awful way, by the same guy he's always gone to for 30 years or whatever. And like, so, so, right. like, so Al Davis is the evil. Kind of hits, he's the dumbest rich guy alive. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, because I was about to say, all that kind of hits for me, but as a Raiders fan, just to be clear, He's a fucking idiot, and yeah, like, he's incompetent. He don't it, hit at. Is the he job. also a lunatic? I don't know. Does I don't he know. Do he's lunatic. I mean, shit. Think that, like what? He, I mean, what's I don't lunatic know, like, shit? If you're, man, I don't know. Like he, he, he. I pretty much told you his house is wild. a week outside because he he likes the way it makes his hair smell. Like you know, just I don't weird know. shit. Wouldn't surprise I me. That, I think that he's just like what would happen to any dumb fuck that got a bunch of like so much money that he almost can't blow it all. Like this is just the actions of that person. And the NFL will help surround him with people. He has every opportunity to succeed as a rich person in that organization because they do not want him to lose all his money in a gambling trip. Yeah. He's got a board that like, I mean, obviously he has the final say on things, but I'm sure that he's got a trusted board that is like, Okay, listen, we can't have a ballerina as a punter. I know that you want us to, but like we probably shouldn't do that shit. Okay, uh, how about a Russian then? That'll work. <laughs> Trey, we, we were, I, we, I wanted to uh, use that. I'm glad we talked about the Raiders. I'm always happy to talk about the Raiders, but I did want that whole Bud Light, Budweiser thing to lead us into this whole Bud Light protest thing. Uh, and it's, it's, I would say that it's like, well, that's old news now because it's over a week old, but I just recently saw a video today of this dude, and he got arrested after this. But he was in a Walmart, and he was being filmed, and he went to the oh, beer section. Oh, I that. Did you send us that? Yeah, well, I maybe somebody else did, too. I, well, I think I saw it independently after you'd sent it, and I was too far up in the group. But either way, so you know what I'm talking about. This guy is just fucking in the beer section at Walmart, First throwing Bud Lights down, but then seemingly just throwing every single beer. Like this dude, like, I mean, would you say that with how how much alcohol he spilled out? I mean, it was at least a thousand dollars worth of damage, like maybe more. Well, let's get into it. Let's be Walmart beer man truthers here. It, I, if you zoom in, it's blurry, but I do think he stuck with Anheuser Busch products. Yeah, because there was a bush. Yeah, but I, I did see somebody point that out. They're like, he's not even doing the right thing. He's doing throwing bush light. And it's like, well, actually, he's te- technically he's following it to the letter because a lot of people yeah. like you'll see senators be like, I'm never drinking Bud Light again. They'll open their fridge and there will be like a bush light and they don't think about that. Yeah, he's boycotting Disney and ESPN. He's going yes. the full way with it. Yes, so many people did not. He's not watching Air Bud Light anymore. That was very <laughs> funny. He didn't get enough credit. So at first, I didn't really know, like, all, here's here's what I knew about the whole Bud Light thing. A bunch of people who don't hit for me said that they were boycotting Bud Light. Therefore, I knew that Bud Light was in the right on something, and that's pretty much all I needed to know. But I've since found out, like, so it's a specific it's a specific person. It's Dylan, Dylan Mulvaney, who is a transgender woman. And what mm-hmm. had happened was... This this wasn't like a national campaign of of Budweisers. This was literally just yes. one of those like paid right. sponsorships on Instagram that they do with a ton of I, people. I mean, like I a do month those. ago, dude, me I, too. Like I had one yeah. with Astroglide. It wasn't a it wasn't a national thing, and I'm sure they had other different types of people because they're just trying to reach you know broader audiences. Speaking of and, us being gay with ours, I I have one right now with Tushy. Uh, you can check it Word? out. Word, nice. Instagram. Yeah, that's got, great. They sent me two Stuff. bidets. They were like, "This guy real stink. Give him two. Oh, dude, I gotta holler at him because I want one of them bidets. I told uh, him yeah, to holler, holler at you. I said, holler at I know Tushy. a guy who's 
is right, right <laughs> up your alley. Yeah, I love getting shit. Uh, well, water go up my butt. You know, I love that. But so it was a paid promotion uh, for Bud Light. So they sent. Um, I think Dylan Mulvaney's preferred pronouns are or she her. I think uh, you are correct. A, okay, right on. I was. I would be willing to be wrong, and I would make a redaction. But ninety nine percent sure you're correct. Yeah. Well, that she was. She was dressed like Holly Go Lightly, so I just have to. You know. So. They give her this a bunch of bud bud lights. One of them has her face on it, just so that she will like show people this. And the gimmick was she was supposed to tell everybody, "Hey, Bud Light's having a, uh, a sweepstakes where if you just film yourself drinking a Bud Light, you could be entered to win fifteen thousand dollars." That's it. Like, and let me to give a little bit more context. She's an influencer who has a lot of very popular eat, pray, lovey type followers. Like she is a very um makeup aesthetic type and the whole like gag yeah, or she's whatever cute. the whole gag or whatever was i know it's march madness but i don't know anything about sports it was like yeah right we don't know anything about sports do we girls i just wanted to give that context because to me it makes it even more ridiculous that they right because it was like even would give a shit they were like this isn't even for your demographic it was like yeah that was the whole fucking point of the campaign was to reach right. new demographics They've, uh, yeah yes dude it's exact it's like when it's like when every year the super bowl halftime comes around and every year people are like what the fuck man why ain't hank playing it why ain't ted nugent playing it it's like because they already got you you dumbass like you're already watching the fucking thing they're trying to have the weekend they're trying to have rihanna so that they'll get people that they normally don't get so the first news i saw about it obviously was uh kid rock outside blasting uh missing for the most part by the way got an ar-15 and he's just going ham on these bud lights and i think he hit like three and then i don't know if y'all know this but travis tritt said that mm -hmm. he was banning them from all of his venues and then yeah last... but no even n not really all he had well, the he, power yeah. to do was like he's taking it off his, his rider, rider which yeah. is like okay who gives, gives a, fuck, a fuck bro like yeah like travis 12 trick beers a stop, night they're out travis trick can't stop the fucking des moines county fair or wherever the fuck he's at from, right from you know selling bud light or whatever like he literally was just like i'm not gonna have it in the green room anymore oh like yeah who some gives that one? statement or whatever like it's so stupid Corey, can you do a screen share and pull up type in travis tritt in blue fringe leather. Oh yeah, and, yeah. and then show that, the world this picture. And I like the one where he's like holding his knee. The one from the meme, the one that got memed to death. He looked I gay think, in both of them, but uh, you know, did. which is fine. I mean, it was you know a lot of people look gay back uh, back then. Okay. Okay. Performers. Let me, let me see if I can do this. Uh, Sorry, guys. While you're while That's you're trying right. to figure out, he had a little twittered back and forth with uh, with Zach Bryan. Zach Bryan continues to in my opinion, just call balls and strikes and knock everything out of the park that comes his way in terms of a man uh, becomes famous basically overnight at 24. We'll see how it goes. And he just was like, look, I like Travis Tripp, but what the fuck? And is that it? a little back and forth on Twitter. That one's great. Yeah, yeah that is fucking that. great. Uh, I don't know if I can There's another that. one that Trey's talking about that shows more of his face. And he looks a lot happier to be dressed like a woman. But you'd look at that. That dude's yeah, so mad at trans people. Travis Tripp meme, maybe. Uh, uh, it's like, it's one where he's sitting there smiling, holding his, he's in all denim, I think. He's holding his, uh, what the hell? I've seen it so many times. That's a, I mean, that one's good too. That's, that's, oh, there it is. It's one right to the left of it. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I see him holding yeah, his knee. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, a seventh karma, grade. Karma, 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 chameleon. No, not that's that good too. Top Still left. not it. That one is photoshopped, but it's Top hilarious. Left. That one, uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. So Isbel Isbel tweeted the other day. You know, because Texas banned uh, like men from wearing makeup at their shows or whatever, and and fucking Isbel tweeted. It, that, Let's see how Travis Tritt navigates this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm well, saying. Also, like, I mean, can they do? I don't. Does that mean they can't? film shit there anymore or like right. i don't know just live it's, shows like ever you know tv and production and shit you wear makeup like dude, there, there's a lot of white reasons that people wear makeup that aren't queer texas yeah right and also, dude, I, I wear make, queer I'm wearing ones makeup fine, right now obviously. yeah i've said it before but like it's it is a slight unfortunate thing that we live in a timeline this stupid and we they took the r word from us and they should have taken it 
I dude, I said that, that in 2016. So, I was like, we pulled ugh. the trigger on that word way too soon, you know. Man, and the, it's like I want people to be understand too, because I know how some of our fans get sensitive about this stuff, and I get it. Like, we're not making fun of Travis Strip for dressing like a woman. We're Fuck pointing no. out that like it's a he or, you're like, no, that's what men do is they, we wear fringe and makeup and tease our hair. Fucking no, they don't. And that's like they should. Men should tease their hair and wear tight jeans and makeup, but they don't. I knew. Like, you're just, it's so weird the hairs you're splitting and teasing and fucking yeah. shampooing. And I saw curling and all that. I saw, um, uh, I knew as soon as I saw Kid Rock doing that, I knew there was going to be some grifter come through with yeah. fucking Patriot Ale or whatever. Yeah. And they've already done that. It already exists. I can't remember the name of you it. You mean it's Sam stupid. Adams? God damn it. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. But uh, you know what I mean? Like fucking the Black Rifle called it Coffee right Company of Beer. I think it's called Right Beer. Yeah, something Right Beer. I think you're right. I think it is Right Beer anyway. So stupid. The guy the pitch man for it's like just throwing baseballs and Poorly shit while talking about beer and stuff. Nothing wrong Uh, with this. Throwing baseballs like a queer. Yeah. (laughs) Nothing wrong with that. (laughs) No, but it is a as hell. But right. I knew that I knew that was gonna happen, but also like it would need to happen because like there first of all, Anheuser Busch, I think, is owned by some larger mega conglomerate that owns even more brands of beer. That is actually even deeper. Like it's something about eight. They're from a different country. Or yeah, it's like German or Swedish it's German. Or something. Uh, anyway, they're German, and, and the one who owns Miller is South African. You know, the two countries known historically as being the only ones more evil than us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that probably hits for them. You know, for that does hit for them. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't know the Nazis were in on this. That hits. But uh, oh, and the people so, who did segregation until two thousand ten. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Was so, it really two thousand ten? No, uh, no, it was. I just thought it was the ninety. It was ninety four. It was ninety four. Okay. I can't uh, believe that I didn't just believe you. So anyway, there's that, but also then like Coors, Miller, their major competitors, competitors, they're all super queer too. I don't know if they've found that out or if they care about it, but I mean like they'll do all, they have done tons of like pride. They sponsor pride parades and right. rainbow bottles and all this shit. Was they, we- like, they all do it. And so what, and you know, these people got to drink something. So like, what the fuck are they supposed to drink? And then, uh, you know, so I knew somebody would come through. I wanted with, to give you a couple uh, right more. Beer. I'm sure it's god awful. By the oh, way, dude. that reminds me of something that pisses me off. Well, so is Bud Light. This. To be fair, yeah, that, I mean, yeah. I, you know, it's fine. Like, it right, that reminds me of something that really, really pisses me off about this aspect of the culture war. Is I've seen a lot of comments being like people pointing out what you just pointed out, Trey, and people being like, "Yeah, but it's just so down our throats now." It started out like, "Okay, let like Coors Light sponsor." Let Coors Light sponsor a parade, and now next thing you know, we've got you know their whole spokesperson's trans, and it's like but the that's person not... shoving this down your throat is Fox News and Kid Rock. And Kid you Rock did not it's know yourself. about this. Do it. No, this happened like a month said, ago. It's an right. influencer. It was one campaign. influencer's campaign. Right. That it's not. It would, wasn't a fucking only Super way, Bowl commercial. And the only like, way that you would have seen it is if her shit was in your fucking you algorithm. Got the follower, right? Exactly. Yes, like that was exactly. only for like her massive group of followers who are into that shit. No one's shoving anything mm-hmm. down your throat. Yeah, yeah there like, you go, Drew. Good we're point. It's it. fucking... Now we're trying to figure out, oh, how exactly. are they finding out what all the trans people are doing? Exactly. What I is the number give... one porn search in Tennessee? Trans. It absolutely is. Well, that's not the word they search for on Pornhub, but yes, no, yeah, similar word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, when it's uh, porn, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, that's a category. Use, yeah, what are you do? yeah, it's a category, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to give a it's couple not a more slur, quotes. It's a category. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're uh, talking about a transmission, can you say that? I yeah, think of so. course. Yeah, right. Okay. My tranny's out. Yeah. Yeah. O- on your truck. I mean, yeah. I mean. I don't know. Yeah, but but I think should have to. Hey, Trey, if you have a question like that, ruling. ask Corey. Yeah. yeah, a ruling now. Yep, you can say you, it. A couple Drew, more qu- Drew mentioned the R word earlier. I, I met this young comic in a green room a couple nights ago at an L.A. show. <laughs> no, and he came in, and one, of, one of the first things he said was like, <laughs> he was like, but he was like totally sincere. He was like, he was like, hey, have you guys heard? 
the the R word's coming back, but he didn't say the R word. <laughs> he just said the word, and he was he was hyped. He was like all smiles. He's like, it's coming yeah. back, and I was like, really? That's great. That's great news, buddy. You that know, is great news like, for the yeah, record. Yeah, I don't know where he got that from, but he's younger than me. He's like, you know, I don't know. He's probably twenty five, something like that. But uh, I well, was speaking like, well, from your lips, big lords it, ears, buddy. That's all I can say. They've been saying it. Plus, they're all gay, so they can say all those words. This yeah, this like right. seemingly straight white guy was just dropping f slurs left and right the other day to the point where I was like, to somebody else, I go, "What's up with that guy?" And they were like, "Oh, he's pansexual." At a show? And I was like, "Uh, yeah." They were like, "Oh, he's On pansexual." Stage? Yeah. And Damn. I even I and they were That's like, "Oh, he's, he's pansexual," and I was like, "Is that how it works?" Hey, I don't know. I like pans. You yeah. know. Uh, Hey, speaking of the R word, I fucked uh, muffin in never one of its cups. Speaking of the R word, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, had this to say uh, on Twitter. She put a uh, a picture of Coors a Coors Light case in the back of her vehicle, and the accompanying caption said, "I would have bought the King of Beers, but it changed its gender to the Queen of Beers." Fucking roasted motherfucker. That's not Such even a, Bud it's Light. Stupid. That's Bud Weiser. Yeah. Stupid I know, bitch. Yeah, she also said change its it apostrophe s. Yeah, which yeah. that ain't well, it. Speaking of slurs, fuck that cunt. Yeah, I want to get. I do want to give my favorite quote of this whole situation. That comes from. I got one too. Okay, good. That comes from my buddy Bubba. And for those of you wondering, yes, this Bubba is like any other Bubba that you have ever met. I've never met a Bubba that weren't a goddamn Bubba. And he might be the bubba of all Bubbas that I know. He said, and I quote, he's a big Michelob Ultra drinker. He said, if Michelob Ultra shaped all of their beer, if, if, let's see, it was if, if Michelob Ultra... Uh, had a trans person be their spokesman and shaped all the bottles like a dick, I would still drink every goddamn drop out of it. Fuck all these idiots. And that, to me, is like... Because Bubba is not in any way like a woke person. He's a, just a logical person that's very libertarian in his ways of just like, listen, if something don't affect me, I don't give a fuck about it. And I do think that, like... Don't you think that's probably the silent majority of most people is like, I don't give a shit. Like, this will be yeah. over in a week, right? Dude, yes. They're, they're not going to, these idiots aren't going to fucking take down Anheuser-Busch. Their stock, like, by the way, what, their stock hasn't dropped at all. Their stock course, hasn't dropped at all. That's, that's related to the quote I was going to share. And I okay. mentioned this on stage in Portland because I just thought this was so goddamn funny. Like, the, their lack of self-awareness never ceases to amaze. Some like Portland. Some right wing, co- well, no, I feel like Portland's extremely self aware, <laughs> actually. Are, they are. But, uh, but no, some right wing commentator I saw on Twitter when this all first got started, right? He said, his tweet said something like, he said, first we boycotted Netflix because of their sexualization of children, right? Then we boycotted Disney for their overwoke policies. Then we boycotted Carhartt for whatever the fuck Carhartt did, a vaccine requirement <laughs> or something like that, right? And it was like, now we're boycotting Bud Light. When will these corporations learn their lesson? And I was like, oh, right, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, I left out a huge one. And then after Netflix, he said, then we boycotted the NFL for disrespecting <laughs> yeah, the flag, right? Yeah. And he ends it with, when will they learn their lesson? It's like, oh, right, you know, every up-and-coming corporation in this country is in a boardroom right now going like, well, we can't be woke. We might end up like Disney and the, the NFL. The NFL. <laughs> like, it's just so stupid that they it's, actually yeah, so think that. Like, you yeah, and M&M. Too. You can't. You're not doing anything. These guys. I, I made a video once when they. This is a little different, but they boycotted Target years back. Like when we, when I first started hitting, they boycotted Target for something. And my whole point was like, dude, Target's fucking thrilled that you're not coming Absolutely. in their store. You stupid trash. Go back to Walmart. Shit. Fucking Target don't want you there. <laughs> like most of these companies don't want your fucking garbage money. Fucking R words. <laughs> yeah, this is my dog. <laughs> Dude, speaking of M&M's, they went so far with that, they made me want to fuck the green M&M. Like, at me first, too. I was like, what are we <laughs> doing here? And yeah. yeah, they was like, what the fuck are they talking about? And then, like, the fifth time I seen them talking about it, I was like, I would fuck the shit out of that little fucking Dude, M&M. fucking M&M and then suck your own dick afterwards? Like, that's a good day, you know? <laughs> let, me, uh, <laughs> let me do my favorite quote, then. Let me do a quick shout-out to our boy Sam Talent. Currently blowing um, up. The world the has finally found out what we've known Thank for God. years. 
And uh, he 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 got to do Rogan. The man went on Rogan. I know nice. people have mixed feelings about that, but that's obviously that's great for a life. comedian. He yeah, can, he can buy a house next year because of this. So 100%. he's on Rogan, and to his credit, you know, Rogan's also giving him fucking shit, talking about how dumb it is. So Rogan, I got to lay the groundwork for the quote a little bit. Rogan says something like, um, "Would we do this with cheesecake?" He's talking about how stupid it was to do it with Bud Light. They're drinking Bud Light as they talk about this. He's like, "Would we do this with cheesecake?" If fucking the Cheesecake Factory came out with some bomb ass new flavor and they were like, this is the Antifa cheesecake, I'd still fucking <laughs> eat it. I'd eat it every day if it was good. Of course. If it was and, good. And then Sam Talent goes, yeah, man, when ISIS comes out with Bear Claw Donuts, I'm eating those fucking ISIS Bear Claw Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm glad that you brought that up about like not doing it to other corporations or whatever because another thing that happened right as we were hitting because i had a bit about it was the whole chick-fil-a situation you know and the internet was still big back then not as big as it is now but like in that whole situation of chick-fil-a doing this whole thing that like you know uh people that support lgbtq people weren't going to go to chick-fil-a i didn't see one goddamn video of some queer running up into Chick Fil A and throwing all their fucking sandwiches against the wall, you know what I'm saying? Like it no, was just. I mean, there definitely we don't was a lot there. of hand wringing about not supporting them. I'll, I'll grant, of course, that. of course, of I, I will grant them that too. There definitely was, but like it was mostly a I'm just not going to go eat that anymore. And also, there was plenty of people. Like I saw some of the early videos that were like going viral about it. It was gay people basically being like, look. It ain't my fault that this is my favorite chicken sandwich. <laughs> like yeah. I'm gonna keep going there. And of course, as we all know, whenever something you like, you find out that it. This is the basis of my whole bit. When you find out that it's evil, you just fall back on the old crutch that I always do of hey, no ethical consumption under capitalism, right? When it's a thing you mm -hmm. like. So I just wanted to point that out. That like they and I didn't mention this. Bud Light's. Stock prices have not dropped, but at multiple of their factories, they have had people plant bombs. None of them exploded, and but they've had Jesus multiple people Christ. plant bombs or call in bomb threats. Well, so and on that a note, little bit different. Jesus Christ. And on that note, one thing I, I think that we should say, and I think this is important when we're having conversations like this all the time. You know, the whole thing with Chick-fil-A was... This dude's giving money to groups that are trying to pass policies we disagree with. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing with Bud Light was they've gone woke. You know, you're, you're trying to ram something down our throats with this trans agenda or whatever. It's also OK to point out that not only are these people stupid because they're shooting up Bud Light cans and that's dumb. It makes no sense. That they not bought help that they bought. That they it's bought. Like, this is such yep. a dumb way to go about this. They're also just like disgustingly morally wrong and i mean right. that so sincerely and there's nothing unfortunately funny about this part of it but like if you genuinely think that a trans person shouldn't get a job at a company you right. like you are a fucking piece of shit that is right. literally no different than a black right. person shouldn't have a job at they, bud light 100%. or a gay person shouldn't have a job at bud light what you're saying is i don't i hate these people so much that they can't even like what I like because yes, you don't want them to exactly. Exist. That's so fucking gross. Like the stupidity of it aside, you just don't want these people to exist. And the fact that we're still there, it's really mind boggling. And I, I genuinely can't believe people aren't shamed for that. Like I get why we're shaming them for being stupid, but I can't believe I, I I'm, I'm being serious. I can't believe. Kid no, Rock, that's a great point. I can't believe I'm saying this. I thought Kid Rock was better than that. Like, not Me better too. than shooting up cans like a moron, but I really genuinely thought he at least was smart enough I, and that our country was good enough to, for people to be like, so wait, trans people just can't have work now? Have anything now. Right. That's a great point because, like, with the, the difference in the whole Chick-fil-A, like, they're, when they do it versus when we do it, it would they're basically making it out to be like Bud Light saying that straight people can't have beers now. Like they, they they look at everything as you're taking something away from me instead of you're including someone else in the conversation. Whereas the Chick Fil A thing was, as you said, because they were giving to charities who were supporting policies that was discriminating against gay people. Well, Christians in this country, a lot of them genuinely believe they're the most discriminated against group. Yeah, Unironic. I know. That's like part of the whole thing, dude. That's yeah. like they yeah. live off that. that they're persecution. They have complex. persecution complex. Yeah. Mm. Yep. yep. Uh,
Fuck them. Yep. And also, for Fuck the record, them. I kind of thought the Chick Fil A thing was dumb. I know I get shit for that, but it's just like it's not going to work. It's just going to give them more. Like, and it's what happened. Chick Fil A made a bunch of money off that. Like, it, it just it just doesn't work anymore. You can't do that. Well, they're obviously yeah, two man, different. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say. I mean, even a couple. I mean, it was probably a couple more like a couple months ago now, but we had that whole conversation on here where I was talking about, you know, the left was talking about boycotting Harry Potter shit, J.K. Rowling shit or whatever. Right. And I was saying, like, I'm not going to do that. And I gave yeah, all the right. reasons that I wasn't going to do that. And part of it I was mean, like, me and my son are said. definitely watching those movies. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, granted, I already own them. So, like, what am I going to do? Throw them away? Well, that was you part of my mean? whole point. Like, Drew said, yeah. like, you can't, it's not going to be effective. But part of my whole thing was like, she's, dude, she's already a fucking billionaire. Like, they've all been, the books right. are out. The movies are made. The fucking, the fucking fortune is secured. Like, right. What are you going to do other than like, you know, maybe get a few game developers fired or whatever? And even that's not going to work. But anyway, uh, I guess we should, um, a brief update for people, perhaps we'd, oh, sure. Is it last week or before? Well, I'm not going to tell. I, I, I don't, I'm not going to. All I'm going to say is uh, we're working on finding a new home. If y'all listened recently, we told you that our uh, network unfortunately folded. Working on finding a new home for the Well-Read Podcast, and we believe we have found one, but we haven't f- formally uh, set that in stone yet. But I will say that if that does go through, we are all three very excited about it. Uh, very, it's, uh, very we'll, fucking we'll, excited. We'll be pretty cool. Uh, it's if, pretty huge if, for if us. If that works out. So, yeah, it's we'll pretty see. huge for so us. Stay and- tuned. And frankly, I think that it should be pointed out that like the sole reason that this opportunity has been bestowed upon us is because of the number of downloads from our loyal listeners. So we really, really appreciate y'all. I know that we've lost some since episode one, but I know that there's a greater many of you who have been here since what, 2000 fucking 16 or 17. Corey, Corey can I say something funny? Yeah. I genuinely in my heart, thought you were going to say me uh, I did instead too. of our loyal <laughs> listener. I did. I was, I, did too. Like, I, was getting, I was getting ready to be like, oh, buddy, come on. We ain't going to well, do all I, that. I, did too. I was like, and I was like these I guess that's true. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, that is, that I'm is. kidding, y'all. I mean, that I'm not so funny in because I, I also thought that. that. <laughs> yeah. I also thought that's, that, but I was having the opposite like I was like, are you fucking serious right now? What? <laughs> Who's this for? Who is so who both doing of y'all, this for? Both of both of y'all were in a completely different emotional headspace on me at that moment, and yeah. then I didn't deliver, which right. in Drew's case is good. Well, I mean, yes, Trey, that goes without fucking saying, no, but I don't you say that you. shit enough. I don't know why <laughs> right. I have to. <laughs> You know, I just thought it was funny. I would like to think that since then we've cultivated us. a fucking yeah. brand. You know, I just had. It's just funny because I'm. T- I had no doubt. I was like I, that. Like the audience, the loyal listeners didn't even enter my mind. No, they don't maybe, factor in. Maybe where you were going, I was like, "Well, here we go." That's what I <laughs> the people, you know. the people Corey and I right, interact though. with You're on correct. social media yeah. and cultivate <laughs> and continue yeah. to keep engaged. <laughs> they didn't enter your mind because they don't exist to you. We I'm check the DM so you don't have to. Uh, yeah, but seriously, thank you all for continuing to listen to the show and to tell your friends. It really means a lot to us. Obviously, podcast success is determined on their uh, downloads and subscriptions. So we just we do appreciate that. And we're glad that you're still here. Uh, and I will all say, Batman's also, grandchildren. That's right. whatever ends up happening. Just so our listeners know, it will be for sure at least a couple more weeks or whatever. And so, also, uh, we'll st- regardless of what happens, the show ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? True. Like, yeah, right. That yeah. should that should be pointed out. It's like don't think that if this thing don't work, like we're fucking. We started out independent. We could be that way if we needed to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wanted. I did want to pun unintended transition into something uh, different. Because when we're talking about the trans stuff, there's also been something else uh, in the news that while they are separate things, they are sort of uh, related, uh, at least in the vigor coming from the right. And that is, you know, Tennessee banning drag shows. And- oh, they're not just related. They are the same thing for two reasons. Okay. One, the right doesn't know the difference. Right. And, and two, that law has gotten a lot of noise because of drag uh, shows and the and pride events coming up and where drag queens are going to perform in public and that's like been a, the crux of it, but the law is absolutely yep. written to include trans people. For it's written sure. vaguely on purpose so that anyone 
quote unquote, wearing clothes or impersonating a member of the opposite sex. It's a nightmare. Which, like, what are they going to do about the lesbians? You know what I yeah. mean? Because, like, they dress like me. They've like been doing it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what so I'm, I'm not of, trying to be funny, but, like, so, okay, you know. no. So, speaking of, uh, and I have a special that I'm going to plug, a mini special about this whole thing called Tennessee's a Drag. You can find it on YouTube. There's clips up. One of them's going, uh, doing pretty well right now. You guys can find it on Instagram and watch that. I do a full 13-minute comedy thing on this whole deal. And speaking of that exact point, Corey, uh, I have a clip I'll put out Thursday, so the day after this comes out, where I talk about that exact thing of, of how, like, we've always been fine with non-binary and gender neutral until we got those words. Right. Until we got those that's, words. That's so true, man. No one where I'm from gave a shit. How do I know? And I don't want to give too much of the joke away, but I'm about to anyway. How do I know? All my PE teachers. Right. Every, they all look like every, Gary Valentine. Every PE teacher I had in high school, you know, had a special friend that her roommate, and we weren't allowed to acknowledge that that was their wife, but like we were fine with the fact that they dressed like a man. Yeah. It, it's fun. I, like it, this doesn't, this is completely irrelevant. doesn't mean anything. Just my PE teachers, you just made me think about for the first time, my PE teachers when I was in school and they were actually a, a, a super athletic married couple. Uh, man and woman and, uh, and a like 65 year old black man named Mr. B who, uh, hit real hard for everybody in school. Um, <clears throat> they were all pretty cool. That's only there because that's what every gym teacher where I'm from looked like. Absolutely. Uh, you know what I mean? And, and like we also had, uh, like there were people in our town who like we had a uh i'm not gonna say any names Y'all didn't have any like hometown hero types or whatever i mean it's like one of our gym teachers one the the, the dude and the the husband in the married couple i'm talking about he was like he was our only ever mcdonald's all-american his jersey well when we in got into high school yes, the guys but we're talking about the, yeah, right. the ladies the right. women with the big the only lady was his the, wife uh, yeah we didn't have any other like they didn't let women do that in salina i well, guess dude, unless you were married to the you know heroic we, feller we well, had a, a I don't tray. Know. <laughs> I know that people identify with it because the joke works, but I'm sorry that in Salina, this particular joke didn't pan out that way. Yeah, I was going to say it did it totally did in mind, but also I wanted to say this, like, I'm not going to say the names or anything, but we had a, um, a girl, uh, where I'm from who like clearly was born with a fu huh huck tone a fuck ton of testosterone because it wasn't like she had, and I'm not making fun. I'm just telling you a real thing. She didn't just have like whiskers. She literally would have a full man's beard. If she didn't shave, like she would shave and then have a, it would look like Trey right there at lunchtime. Right. Mm -hmm. And everybody like the conversation around it was just like, yeah, like she, you know, she was born with a lot more testosterone. So she's got like some mannish features and nobody like that that was just accepted that was fucking fine whatever and Does also she dressed like when, a man yeah she, and she's now a lesbian uh right. she always was but like now you know uh well actually i don't know if that's true she she, she flip-flopped but she's bisexual fuck that's a thing um but no but dude not a, like she was loved like she's still loved. Like she just want you know. But like I don't know. I feel like in certain places, if some of the people that quote love her, if they had seen her out of context, they would think, "Oh my God, that's one of them trying to transit." You know what I mean? So and it was just so like duh, like because we we knew we were like a nobody was doing that shit back then, or at least in our purview, like we knew that was natural. And also, dude, when I was in fucking like right when I got out of high school. All, and I, I hung out with exclusively red ass motherfuckers. One of our favorite things to do, and one of the favorite things to do amongst the fucking Bubba's and Cletus's around here was to go to drag shows on the weekend because the bar had cheap fucking drinks. The bar had cheap fucking drinks. And dude, not one motherfucking time was any of those dudes who, I, but I know them now. And all of a sudden these people are freaks. They didn't think that at the time they were just like, Hey, you know, it's performance. What are you going to do? Fucking $5 my ties. Nobody was in there throwing a fit or whatever. So this goes back to your fucking point of uh, the, the, the people that are shoving this down your throat are Fox fucking news. That's the only thing that's changed between then and now is that these people have been told by the people fucking spoon feeding them fear that this shit is dangerous to this country. 
So it's not like their natural feelings have changed. They've just decided, oh, my bad, didn't know. Fuck them, you know? Well, there's no need to watch my special now. I think Corey just did it, so that's... Oh, no, are you serious? No, I was like, that was just perfect. That was a really, <laughs> that was a really good rant as far as like, that is exactly what's going on. Yeah. Cause yeah. And, I, and for the record, can't wait to watch the special, but like it, it, it really is just fucking like it's mind blowing to, That's to exactly watch. what happened. Yeah. No, it is, man. And it's just, it's fucking sad because what I remember it? thinking when we used to go to those drag shows, like I was a little bit more progressive because I'd already been doing comedy and like comedy is inarguably the thing that made me more progressive because it forced me to be around people who were different than me in every yeah. walk of life. Like I, I truly believe that if I had not gone into comedy, I don't think I would have been a bad person. I think that I would have, though, been in an insulated bubble where I didn't know all the bullshit was going on. Like I was hanging out with black people on the regular. I opened drag shows like all this shit. And because of that, I remember looking at all my buddies who were super redneck and thinking like, man, they're these are fucking good guys. And now those same motherfuckers are upset about it. Yeah, I think that if you think about it and what's wild is I don't remember who he was. I don't know if I ever knew who he was, but I think it's arguable that all of this goes back to whoever that state congressman was in North Carolina who came up with that bathroom bill, which ironically is also the HB thing 13 that uh, I think it was HB six. It's right? HB six. Yeah, you're right. Which ironically Damn, you're right. the thing was the thing that uh, launched you know, your career. Yeah. And exactly. apparently ours. If you know, yes, then well, this I'm podcast gonna, and all that know, shit. And, I wouldn't say, dude, you're right. You apparently. apparently. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I think because I remember at the time, part of the whole thing was like, where did this come from? What is this? Like, what? Right. The because what they already you? exist. Right. Yeah. It's like, that was that first that first video as one of the things I said, like, you know, these people have been around forever. Right. Like when? Right. Yeah. When's the last time you heard of this being a problem? Uh, you know, but hardly not. Up, never. Hardly not. Never. Right. right exactly. Where'd you Fucking think they, they uh, were shitting? Yeah. They it's one of those things. They do this all the time. But that was a right. great example of it where it's like they just. They just invent whole cloth out of nothing. This like right. mountains out yeah. of molehills controversy that they that, that then comes to define them. But it's all just like it's unraveled from there. They It's like they didn't even know about transgender people, never thought about transgender people existing before that moment. And that became a hot button issue. And it's just the thread has just been pulled ever since then. So well, that's so how it was that came up with that. This all day fault. Really. Well, they keep they keep which I'm sure they're that. very proud of. You know? Right. Yeah. The GOP has a wing or that machine, Fox News, all that has a wing or an arm that is so good at taking a thing that exists and has existed and making it sound like it's new yep. and terrifying. Yep. And they keep it's from the Hitler playbook. I believe you. I'm, uh, I'm reading a two volume biography on Hitler. It's actually the only two books on my bookcase back here that are turned around backwards <laughs> because I didn't want it to. I didn't want it out of context because it's got swastikas on it. You know what I mean? Like it does. It has swastikas. They always on put it. swastikas on. A book I know. And this, and this and it's funny because this book isn't a Hitler hits book. It's a fuck Hitler. Look at all these bad things he did. But they had to put the swastikas on it. You Somebody know? had a joke and about like, that in New York about reading it on a train. Yeah, and it is just textbook shit. Where like Hitler made people aware of these th things that had been going on forever, but nobody really cared about. And then he just was like, this is a problem, you know, but now I mean, not, people didn't always like the Jews. I was about to say, you're not talking about the Jews, right? Cause look, no, I love the Jews, but I think we all know that, yeah. you know, historically not popular. People have tended to not like the Jews, which is stupid. But he exacerbated, it's just he exacerbated truth. it though. Ever since they, you know, killed the Lord, it's been all downhill from there. Yeah, but, yeah um, for sure. Yeah. I don't, you know, know or believe any of that either. But I mean, yeah. But what but what what do you mean though? Do you mean like the gay people and gypsies and people of color and shit like that? It's, is that what it's you're talking just about? Like, yeah, and just like the play the playbook basically is like how to take something and get everyone right it, it, make it seem like it's a bigger deal than it is, and then you solve it. You know what I mean? You create the problem. Like you so create you a problem. It. So that you can solve oh, right. it, and you, yeah. you well, they're fucking that last part yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not doing that last part at all. They're not doing a good job of the uh, solving it. I guess they're no. selling to I, their fans that they can solve it or that they will. That's part of my whole thing with them too. Is like, I don't know how 
maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm stupid, but I don't know how they don't <laughs> think that it's a long term problem to right. like continuously pick new demographics of people to alienate on purpose. Right. <laughs> like it's like you're just further narrowing the definition of like what you are or what you represent and how far can you narrow it before like you're not viable anymore but well i think they know that always going to be trying to people. steal elections and gerrymander shit and all this right. stuff because like I, they yeah. know that's the case they're just trying to like take uh you know the power anyway the, they can get it yeah i was fixing to say i think that really going in today i we? think that that's a playbook <laughs> of fascism that's like yes. that, that, that that's where that's so scary because they're already not the majority by right. some margin, depending on which state you're in. But by some margin, they're already not the majority. They will continue to do that, but while also trying to tighten their grip on power via force, they're already starting yep. to do that. I mean, that's why there's like a law out right now, for example, where you can, um, I think it's in Florida, it might be in Tennessee, where you can, students can tell on their teachers for doing teaching anything that would be considered too divisive for kids. I mean, so we're like having this tattletale program of people going to jail. It's fascism. So, again, it's not funny, unfortunately, but like what you just pointed That's out, a- it's not viable in an actual democracy. It's absolutely viable when a, a an angry minority just takes power. But don't hit. Don't hit. No, don't hit. That's right. That's, our anyway, that's what my right. special's about. I was just going to say, kind of well, but then I thought, I thought that I was going to say, but then I thought they probably want that to happen. I was going to say, like, what, dude, also, who the fuck? I don't know why these bless their heart people want to fucking teach now just because of how shitty we pay know. and treat teachers. But, like, who is going to want to teach when you can't this teach. new world? When, like, you can go to fucking jail for... Yeah. Talking about race in the Rosa Parks chapter of the book or whatever. Like, who's going to want to do that? But then, I thought that. That's what I was going to say. But I didn't want to interrupt Drew. And as I continued thinking about it, I was They'll like, implant well, shit. Their own I was teachers. like, shit, dude, they probably don't even want that. You know, they don't want people to learn shit. You know, no, what I mean? of course they're they not going to give a fuck. And that's they're not going to give a fuck if 80 kids get shoved into one room because there's a teacher shortage or whatever. And none of them are learning anything. They don't want them to learn anything anyway. Well, like, it's, you know, it, it sucks double because it's like since the pandemic and how teachers have been treated under certain administrations, like right now, the only people who are teaching are people who are insanely passionate about teaching people for whom this was never about the money. This is a calling that I have. And I know so many of these teachers that uh, dude, of course they would love to make more money, but they're like, I can't control that. And I want to teach these kids. So when you have a bunch of people who are passionate about teaching and then you take away their right to fucking actually teach, who is going to be left? Because like, if someone's like, my, my, my goal is to teach. And then they're like, by the way, you can't, all that stuff that you know to be true, you can't say that. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, it, it's to me like eventually it's going to breed a new generation of fucking super conservative people going to school just so they can go be teachers and teach this whitewashed version of history. Like fucking the departed, like Jack Nicholson putting this Colin in training for years just so that they can get older and fucking I don't teach know. that. Yeah, it's a multi-level I, plan. And like the, not all the parts are able to communicate with each other. There's infighting. There's many reasons we can think that we may eventually win and beat it. And I do think we will. I really do. I don't think that America will become a completely fascistic situation, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. And it's going to be hard. And like, this is a plan. This is a plan that's been in place by people who are in the Federalist Society who are also overtaking our courts. It's been around for like 60, 70 years. And some of it was open. They were like, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Aren't the, aren't the fucking Zoomers like 80 plus percent not that, you know. We think. What's a Zoomer? Gen Z. You don't know what a Zoomer is? Gen- and that's is that the generation below us? Yeah. 
Gen Z. Okay, I didn't know. You never, you never heard of that. I, I, I've I just like heard it called Gen Z, buddy. They're all over the place. No, I, yeah. I believe you. I've just only ever heard Gen Z. I didn't know it was Zoomers. All right, let's not get in the weeds with that. Uh, Zoomer just, sounds like it would be the generation that was born during the pandemic because everybody was on Zoom. That would be my thing. Like the, I think the, the word already existed sure. before Zooms came about. Yeah, no. I look, y'all are right. I'm wrong. I've just only ever heard Gen Z. I've never heard Zoomer, but I'm. Well, and also I, to I your read, defense, I read World I War II history, not new stuff. Uh, here we are in the weeds. I, also, to your defense, I don't think Gen X is short for anything. Am I wrong? I don't think so. Extreme. Well, anyway, you're right, Trey. But that's all the more reason for them to like be meaner, more violent, have a better plan. Do you know what I mean? It's like, how do you control twenty-two year olds if they won't do what you say? Well, you make it hard for them to vote. You you don't you you fucking lock them up. It's it's not good. That and the Zoomer thing, and also I've seen a bunch of studies, a bunch of reports and shit, that millennials, we are becoming the first ever generation that is not drifting to the right as we age. Right. That's like always yeah, been. Why wouldn't we? Right, yeah. And so I feel like when you couple those two things together, and like they're going to keep dying and shit, the sugar going to keep yeah, right. them. Fucking, if you we know, yeah, whatever. if we hold to that, like if we truly hold to that, and the old, the one day then, the old generation is all fucking Democrats, right? I, I just think like, I don't know, just the numbers. I know that again, that's the whole reason they're doing all the shit that they're doing. I think is because they realize that, and they like they got to fucking make their power plays or whatever while they can. And I know that that's what they're going to try to do, but like at a so certain I mean, point, it's going to be. I know that I'm, I'm I'm aware of that, but I'm saying like, I don't know, maybe it'll take a fucking violent revolution, take a page out of France's book. I don't know. I mean, these people have forgotten that they can be at and, uh, and, right. you know, it's beheaded gonna take, and shit, but it's uh, going to take a lot because it's not just like, it's like, all right, well, we vote. Okay. Well, in Tennessee, we voted. They cooked three of our senators out. We got, we got them or two of them. We got them back, you know, like, like there are plate, there are things in place to try and keep this on the rails. But there are things in place that are trying to knock it off. I mean, dude, this stuff with the Supreme Court where it's basically proven now that Clarence Thomas has just been bought and paid for by a billionaire and no one seems to be able to do anything about it is... That Nazi feller? Uh, yeah. Clarence Thomas has a billionaire. Yeah, he super like, loves... Is... You're talking about the guy that paid him, right? He's yeah, got, yeah. Uh, he's, got he's, like got... Not, he's got like a swastika switchblade. He's got a shit. signed copy of Mein Kampf. He's got a Garden of Evil. He calls it the Garden of Evil, which has a bunch of it's his garden where he's got statues of all the most ruthless dictators from history, like not just that, Hitler, <laughs> but like fucking Paul Pot and shit. Well, yeah, I mean, right. he knows here's thing. that's uh, wild and that makes the news. It wouldn't matter if the dude had a fucking garden with, you know, Mary Poppins and statue in it, because the issue is that regardless of what this dude believes, the fact that our court can just be bought like that and we know it and we see it. And no one's doing anything about it. No one right. knows how to do anything about it. I think Biden is probably like, well, if I start that, what's going to happen with our guys and gals? It's it's we're not in good shape. If this were another country, everyone in America would be like, damn, can you believe how fucked up Brazil is? Right. That's a great point, too, because like, well, you know, no, you know, because all that they're because they're all these other countries. There's plenty of other countries that are fucked up, but we don't give a fuck about any other country, whether they hit or are fucked up. Like, you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, we just they're, don't they're, give a shit. You did used to. <laughs> Brazil you know, is like, fucked up. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, but back in the like, obviously, we know that like things have always ran this way in some regard. It's just that it wasn't out in the open. And I guess like, you know. Like all the president's men and all these types of movies where they're like trying to expose the shit. Like everyone really believed like once it comes to the for forefront and we can expose it, it won't happen anymore. And now we're to that point and we found out, oh, that don't even work. Like it don't matter if we all know how it's going. They control it. So like how how do we win? You know, and that's that's the true desperation of it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, don't hit. You know, I'm wearing a diaper, by the way. That hits. Yeah. So, mm. anyways, Drew, That's plug your special again. <laughs> yeah. If you want to hear jokes about all that, <laughs> it is funny though. I've, it's very I've heard funny. some of the jokes. It's very funny. Also, uh, you know, I do offer a little bit of advice at the end in terms of how to deal with this. I'll let uh, y'all watch it to find out what that advice is. Uh, I've gotten a little bit of flack <laughs> for it, but that's okay. Uh, I have a theory. I stand by it. It's very fun. It's yeah. very funny. Watch it. 
Yeah, and also uh, listen to Putting On Airs. That's me and Trey's. I'm still saying new. It's a year old, but it's the newest podcast that we have. Uh, it's great. Uh, and also go subscribe to parttimefunnyman.com so you can get bonus stuff from me. I sure would appreciate it, Trey. You can also listen to Weekly Skews every Tuesday evening live at 5 Pacific, or you can just listen to it anytime you want to on wherever you get your podcasts or on my YouTube or Facebook pages. That's me and Smart Mark Agee doing politics stuff. We've also we've talked about all this shit we just talked about today a bunch. Mark be knowing shit about it, so you should check that out, and I'm just there. But we have a good time. And uh, what Come else? Trey Crowder, right. TreyCrowder.com for tickets solo dates and also well-read dates including yes we'll be in i'll be in alabama at the end of this month and then right after the alabama dates the three of us will be in little rock arkansas together so try and uh check it out yeah patreon.com slash try crowder for all the bonus shit that i do that's it we're also going to be in knoxville and nashville together i think i think we should start pushing that i think those tickets are up on the website and uh yeah we're gonna be home in tennessee i don't know if i'm gonna dress in drag or not i said i'd dress in drag if the law was still on the books I don't think it's going to be. I think it's been shot down. Oh. We'll see. It's, well, it's been temporarily do it. shot down. We will see. Right. Well, with all that being said, thank you all for listening to the Well Read Show. We'd love to stick around longer, but we got to go. Now, tune in next week if you got nothing to do. Thank you. God bless you. Good night and skew. Howdy there, well-read fans across the universe. It's your boy, Trey Crowder here. Just want to take an opportunity to let you know about a couple of things that I think you might think are cool. Just some things to let you know about in case you don't done to already know about them. I'm talking about, uh, in particular, Weekly Skews, hosted by me and Smart Mark AG. If you're into my political musings, and I assume many of you are, well, it's all politics all the time podcast. That's what Weekly Skews is. Mark reads and knows stuff. I learn and react to stuff. We have a good time. We do the show live every Tuesday night at 5 p.m. Pacific on my social pages. Uh, but also, you can get it as a podcast wherever you get your podcast from, or you can watch it on my YouTube channel. You don't have to be there live. Check it out either way. Also, uh, if you would like to check out some of the bonus stuff I got going on, you can go to patreon.com slash Trey Crowder. I got a bunch of stuff on there uh, for my fault for my patrons. You got multiple tiers. I do um, news reaction videos. I learn the news of the day, react to them in real time, rant and rave, do my thing. We have uh, interviews with other blue sheep people like Corey, Drew, Smart Mark, my sister, you name it, all kinds of fun people, Brent Terhune, and uh, we explore the background of in my political opinions as well as reviewing many of the our uh, country's worst politicos, all that, plus I do audience Q&As and bonus weekly SKUs episodes all at my Patreon. It's also just a nice way for you to support your boy. So if you'd like to check out the wares over there, go to patreon.com slash Trey Crowder and do so. And then lastly, one-stop shopping for me if you want to come see me live, which I sure would appreciate. If you want to check out my and me and the guys' Amazon specials, you can find all that by going to TreyCrowder.com. Last, last but not least, I love him like chicken. Thank you for being here and enjoying the Well-Read Podcast, and we'll keep doing it if you keep listening to it, baby. See you. Love you. Bye. Hey guys, it's your boy, Corey Ryan Forster. I'll be short and sweet. PartTimeFunnyMan.com is where you can get bonus stuff from me. Got bonus podcasts, bonus videos, essays, stories, all sorts of cool stuff. It is $5 a month, but if you can't afford that, it's free. At either tier, you get the same stuff. It's just if you have the money to pay for it, I'd, it'd be cool if you did that. Uh, but if you don't, it's fine. You can get it for free. You can also make a one-time donation to the show on PayPal using buttercreamcory at gmail.com. It's a really cool thing. I'm adding new cool stuff all the time. There's about to be a whole brand new podcast over there called Oh Yeah Daddy, where I exploit the fact that I am now a dad and becoming quite the cliche one. So we'll talk about cliche dad stuff. You can get it everywhere soon, but it'll be up at parttimefunnyman.com before it's up anywhere. Parttimefunnyman.com. Subscribe, support me, love me, love me, for the love of God, love me. I need it. Love y'all.
PartimeFunnyMan.com. Well, he's a part-time funny man. He does stand up when he can, but he wants to stay at home and raise his kids. So he sits behind his computer and he does this. Classy.